Welcome back to another episode of my Fortnite Save the World Plankton campaign replay. We are on number 5 of the Plankton campaign, titled dot 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 while screaming. And I don't remember if the dialogue for this mission uh, that you get before you start it uh, actually explains something. So I want to go back and replay the intro part at least. Oh good. Another location. Must be an error. Another location. Three locations. I'm getting hits for pop no, everywhere. everywhere. It's almost like it's almost like he exploded. He exploded. Okay, maybe Pop is fine. No, you know, he exploded. He the and coincidentally terminated all communications while screaming. Okay, yeah, while now screaming. In a lot of locations. Can you go search yep. the rifts in this area? Okay, so it actually does explain it, but I don't think it elaborates very well. I know a lot of people do end up struggling with this mission because they don't actually know what they're supposed to be looking for. So hopefully this video can kind of clear that up. So of course 19 plus zone and I'm going to be using this uh, Ride the Lightning. Mostly because A it's 19, B it's Ride the Lightning, and C there's no mini boss. I could go for the Illuminating Collect but that also has a 10 minute time limit. Okay, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. There's so many of them. These are only here during uh, Halloween. I'm recording this in uh, October, and I probably won't be releasing it in October. So, see on my mini-map, or if you... It's not on the map. See on my mini-map, there's uh, a red skull to, like, the south, southwest-ish. It's actually right there, the rift there. Oh, this one's in a basketball court. Uh, how nice. So these rifts are... It, these these will be elaborated further in the game. I don't know why they, they even appeared this early. I don't remember the reason for that. But this is where you'll find your pop parts. In my experience, retesting this over and over and over, you will repeatedly be able to find all three of your required pop parts here. Let's go ahead and grab our third one. And that's it. While you're standing near it, it will also drain your shield, and if you get too close, it can damage you. Just like that. Now that I've collected my pop parts, all I need to do is complete the mission. So I'm going to go look for the van, grab some blue glow, and then we'll get started. Okay, that took way longer than I was hoping to, uh, to find. Just let me shoot through your shield. Come on. Okay, got him. I don't think that was a normal visual effect. Oh well. This is not the greatest spot that I've seen, but I can make it work. As usual, I'm building in metal. There's no particular reason for this, because this mission does not have elemental enemies. I am doing this specifically because it's what I have enough of, otherwise I probably would have used brick. place base here and we're gonna have to I guess solve that I don't I don't want anything walking up to the uh, to the van this way so hopefully that will mitigate it I don't think so but I kind of I think if they do actually rotate their spawns that way I'll just I'll just make something to counter that Kind of lame because literally last episode I was uh, already playing a uh, a uh, Red the Lightning, so now I'm just doing it again. Note that I'm only doing it because even though it's not the fastest mission, it is still something that is relatively easy to solo, especially when you consider the fact that the spawns do not rotate during the defense. I think I want to try something a bit different. Last time I went for a like proper like setup with trap tunnels and everything. This time I want to get lazy. Unfortunately our spawns are split in two which 
I was hoping was not the case, but that is the case. So what I'm going to do is, first and foremost, get rid of some of these. I hope that's enough. And then... I'm actually just going to very specifically cover that. Didn't equip it. And then... That should be completely fine if I do that. Do I genuinely believe that? Not really. Am I going to pray that that's fine? Yeah. These uh, wild animals realistically won't deal that much damage, I'm, I'm willing to guarantee, because they are power 7. But hey, they have element nature and nothing else. Well, yeah, I'm recycling active, so I can get some material back during missions, which is nice. Though I normally wouldn't use it in public missions. Let's go ahead and start the objective. I did manage to find myself another power 21 buzz cut, this one with reload instead of fire rate. Speaking of Buzzcut, I am going to find Defender Pad. It's a trap. It's what it is. This should be fine, realistically. I'm going to place Defender Pad and... Let's get an Assault Rifle Defender in here. You are not dealing any damage to him. That's how you do it. Really? Oh, you're letting him bully you? Let me grab my uh, metal. Well, 20 metal, 3 wood. Oh, and you're down again. I wonder why, Power 7 Defender. Normally I would play a bit smarter and cheaper than this. The reality is I didn't want to deal with the, the split spawns and trying to figure out how to tunnel that correctly. I think... I, I probably could have figured something out. It, doesn't, it didn't look like it would be that difficult. I just didn't want to spend that much material on it. Can we grab this one? No, nope. I bull rush him just in time to stop him. No, don't do no, don't do that. Okay, actually, that's okay damage. You know, I I gotta use this weapon for like a a video on my uh, with my main account, like a power one thirty or something. I have to try this weapon like serious build. It would be such a funny, like, meme video, to be honest. I should still do that. Okay, first wave successful. I'm gonna wait a little bit to see if there's gonna be any changes to their spawn. Okay, this is good. They're only coming from this direction now. Gives us a little bit more, uh, room to work with. Probably should have cleared things out earlier. So let's go ahead and do that now. Should 
Just a couple of trees and rocks. It wasn't actually that much stuff. Do doesn't didn't matter, but it's still nice to get the material out of it. Thinking like keep forgetting the controls are different here than on my main accounts. So that should be fine for that part, and then maybe. Probably not, actually. That, that probably won't work. And maybe if I can do something like... Like this. My expectations are low for this working. This is more or less just because if it works, then it will be useful. If it does not work, then I will have wasted a little bit of wood. Should be... Fine... Maybe we try... I don't know, I'm just getting a bit creative here. Let me get myself three uh, ceiling electric fields. Defender's down, and, the, and of course the raptor can't revive her. Those should uh, mitigate their spawning, but probably not by that much, realistically speaking. Oh, they're both down. That's unfortunate. It's almost as if it's almost as if this defender and this and this uh, raptor were not ready for this mission, or it's almost as if my uh, my inability to prepare correctly would have uh, prevented their ability to do well. So I'm playing very cheap today. I mean, it's not going to kill them, but hey, if, even if they're like weak by the time they get closer, then even just my traps or my defender can cover things quite well. On the other hand, by uh, by putting these traps over their spawn, I'm actually unable to effectively use my uh, my sub not supply drop uh, air sh air strike gadget. At least unless I do it here. use that and then let's get up get up and cover those that was not a necessary wall okay this thing kind of sounds horrible that wasn't necessary you didn't have to do that Can I do something like this? That's not going to actually block them. That just might make them think they shouldn't bother trying. And hey, if they don't bother trying, then that's just a good thing, right? We have someone over here. And a defender that's dead again. It's almost as if my defenders aren't ready for this, and I don't get it. This defender is unintentionally giving me progress for a daily quest. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, that's actually good, but I've been making a whole joke out of not caring and not doing my daily quests. Oh, I say joke, but I've been taking it quite seriously. I've been avoiding my daily quests. Stop shooting me! Oh yeah, you got some knockback. Knockback again. And he's down. Okay, that was kind of cool. Got an idea. Let's switch to the Tsunami with this defender. I meant to give him more ammo than that. Not much, but a little more. I mean, 
I, I could have used more ceiling electric fields to uh, deal. Okay, actually, Jesus, this is the most annoying weapon I've heard. Turn that off. Okay, um, I, like I was saying, I could have used more uh, ceiling electrics, and that would have made it so the enemies would be even weaker, or if I actually used a lot of them, would have managed to prevent it. I actually just noticed that it, it broke. So maybe that that's why they're getting through now. Because the uh, ceiling electrics be broken. That's alright. 20 seconds left, essentially. I'm gonna unsummon my defender now because uh, mostly while well, saving ammo. This is just for fun, though. I don't know why that gave me 105,000 uh, uh, Battle Royale XP. I'm I still I'm still not going to use any of it, at least not intentionally. Regular rewards, nothing out of the ordinary. There's my main quest with the two mini reward llamas and marathon hype. Bull rush hero, I think. And that's the daily quest. Vinderman, I thought he was dead. He has a secret lab and he's working on something big. Something that could swing this whole mess in our direction. I need to run. If you find this little guy, I want you to know he saved my life. He saved his life. That's great. There's my daily quest done as well. Before you and I teamed up to save the world, I worked on Dr. Vinderman's home based storm defense project. I was kind of his assistant slash conciliary slash sounding board. Okay. you and me, I thought his storm defense project was insanity, but I trusted him, and it's a good thing I did. He was right about the storm. Marathon Hype is a bull rush hero, and would actually work better on this loadout because it would be active, because I do have bull rush. Yeah, if he's starting the home base def defense project, I don't know what that is, I wasn't listening, but, but we need to be ready. And of course, next mission, which I'll be doing in the next episode, is Ray.readme. Uh, build radar towers to find missing update file. Complete a build radar grid mission in a power 19 plus zone. Rewards 2,500 schematic XP and a rare range weapon schematic, which I probably don't need. What's in the llama shop? Okay, that's kind of tempting. Nah, maybe I should save for uh, something better. I mean, even this, that's not better, necessarily. 941 gold, that doesn't leave me with a lot of options, especially with all these event weapons around. I'm just gonna buy a Legendary Survivor. These are super great to get your hands on, because if they are compatible with your squads, which in my case, mine probably won't be. Well, it's on, it's on my squad now. I'm gonna level that up, and... Actually, let's... Let's upgrade a few things where I can. Oh, hell yeah, we're getting there. Okay, he's already leveled up. She's not leveled up. Oh, that's going to take away most of my XP, though. Oh, well. I may not have that much uh, hero XP left, but I do now have a few more survivors leveled up. Granted, a lot of these will be gone later. And, of course, I am now power 19 instead of 18, 